Let's play Kirby's Dream Land, with the original white Kirby made by HAL Laboratory in 1992. I know it may come as a surprise to some of you that this game's not older than it is, considering how simple it is and you think maybe Kirby's older, well, nope. Let's get on with this though, right? Butterflies will clearly be our greatest enemy in this adventure. So Kirby can walk, he can suck, he can spit, and, oh yes, he can swallow. You think I'm going any further than that? Don't worry, I'm stopping there, okay? <laughs> Mostly because he doesn't know how to do anything else, though. So, why is Kirby doing all this? Well, for one thing, he likes kicking serious ass. For a second thing, though, the instruction booklet tells you this. The game doesn't so much. King DDD, oh yeah, you know that name by now, I'm sure, after all these years. He decided to steal all the food in Dreamland. Yes, he's a thief with serious time to kill. <laughs> and so Kirby has decided to go out and rescue all this food for his people. If you want to call them people, I don't really know what they are, really, what any of these things are. But if you can tell me, hey, go for it. <laughs> so yeah, Kirby's rescuing all the food, getting it back, and... He's doing this by, you know, wandering aimlessly through woods and climbing up the inside of trees. It's a really smart tactic if you think about it. I mean, he, he's getting places. Uh, d don't even worry about him. See, we're already on the first boss. <laughs> Wispy Woods is what he's called. Serious hardcore tactics you need here. Swallow apples and spit them back at him. Kirby games have never been known for their difficulty. It all started with this. This was the precedent. Hal decided, hey, we're not making it any harder. <laughs> so when you beat a level, you get a star and three Kirbys for some reason. And they're doing a show for you. Don't ask. I didn't. That's quite a sneeze you got there, buddy. So we get a little glimpse right here into an ability Kirby actually has in later games, using a microphone to kill everything on the screen. Oh yeah, I'm sure some of you remember it, it's a limited time only thing in later games. And that's an endless room we don't need to worry about, <laughs> it's just kind of an annoyance. And Kirby loves riding them stars! right through walls, because that's the thing to do. And here's Lolo from the Adventures of Lolo series, which came before Kirby, and I'd pretty much say it's what made Hal famous, sort of. And yes, Kirby can fly, like a little balloon too. And he can eat spicy food, and start blowing fire. I guess that's another ability he has later on, the fire one. but. You know, I'm not sure why he gets it from that food, and I'm not even sure what that food is. Whatever, though. He eats it, he's on fire, he starts spitting stuff. And I went in the wrong room. It's always the top door, I should have remembered that. And here's Lolo Lo and Lala La. Or Lolo and Lala. La. Yes, you get to kick both of their asses. Hal is paying so much tribute to their old heroes that they made by letting Kirby kick their ass. It's really showing great appreciation. Don't question it, just accept it, okay? That's an awkward dance if I may say so myself. Ow. That's really much more painful than they're making it out to be. So you may have noticed, Kirby... Um, he doesn't know how to slide tackle yet. He doesn't know how to steal enemies' abilities yet. And, most of all, he doesn't know how to even, oh yes, run yet. Hal decided that he should take the attitude of, Oh, you know, all my people are starving, and I gotta save the food, but you know what? I'll do it in a leisurely manner. Oh, we've got time to kill. Oh, yes. 
Why hurry up when you're trying to rescue people? Just take your time. Keep things cool. Don't worry. Be happy. Kirby also doesn't know how to swim. He just sort of walks through water. That's also something he'll learn to do later on. And you know what? He knows how to get hit too. Damn it. <laughs> but, um, Howl actually decided that they would have him run in later games after they finally realized that, uh, it was a mistake to have him go so slow. Is that ice cream? I mean, it looks like ice cream. I, have you ever eaten a spicy ice cream? I mean, like that? <laughs> I haven't, but if you can tell me about it, I'd like to try it. Oh, apparently we just needed some water. So yeah, after this uh, game, you know, a bunch of the Kirby people ended up dying of starvation. That's when Hal decided, you know, we're gonna have to fix this man. We're gonna have to make him run. Yes, early on, Hal decided that they'd dedicate entire rooms just to transport you to other rooms. They thought, hey, we can do cutscenes on the Game Boy. Isn't that amazing, guys? It really was, guys. It was. That's some sort of mint or something. I just ate there. Allows me to blow air. Yeah, that's all I'm doing right there. And we're blowing air at an air balloon with a cannon. How do you defeat an air balloon with a cannon? Just blow air at it. Better than using a pin, right? Cute guys. Real cute. 